All right, so you've already recorded all of your Foley sound effects um, as a class, and the next step in this is to set up your GarageBand file. So first, you want to hit the F4 key on your keyboard and launch GarageBand. It's the icon that looks like a guitar and amp. You're going to launch GarageBand. Make sure you've clicked New Project, Voice, and then Choose. Once that opens, you'll see a little window that pops up. Just hit OK. It's going to pop up a couple of more times, but eventually it'll go away. We need to get rid of all of these pre-recorded and preset uh, default tracks. So you're simply going to click on one and hit the delete key. Keep hitting OK every time this thing pops up. It's just because it's got sound effects built into these defaults. You're going to click and delete just by clicking on the keyboard. So click, hit the delete key, click OK a couple times, click, delete, OK. All right, now, then what you're going to want to do is make your garage band about half as big as your screen so you can see your Foley folder. Now I'm going to use Sam's sound effects since he already made them. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open up your Foley folder on your desktop so you can see both the Foley window and the GarageBand window. Single click one of your files, hold command and tap the letter A which will select everything and then drag every one of those files into this track list here. It's going to add your audio files to GarageBand. Once that is done, go ahead and close your Foley folder and make GarageBand full screen again. Now what you're going to want to do is get rid of any extra uh, tracks that are in here and mute all but one layer. And The reason we want to mute all of the layers we aren't using is because if we play one track at a time, it will uh, play everything because they're stacked on top of each other. So if it's not orange, it has been muted. So let's go ahead and play this track first and so we can find out what it is. Sam Caswell doing wind. Alright, so we know that's the wind track. So to rename this track instead of STE000, just double click that file name and rename it wind or whatever your track name is. And you're going to do that for all of your files. So I'll mute wind, open up STE003, move my playhead. Sam Caswell recording Gollum voiceover. So here's a Gollum voiceover. So I'm just going to call this GVO1 because it's I know he did more than one voiceover for Gollum. So mute that, do it again for the next one, and continue on to the, till you're totally Sam Caswell's finished. Gollum voice, take two. So here's G voiceover 2, right? So you're going to do that until you're totally done with everything else. Then you're going to move on to the next tutorial and I show you how to start to trim these files.